Hey everyone, I'm the Skateboard Dad, and today I'm going to be doing a first look review at the most dad skateboard shoe of all, the New Balance Numeric Tiago Lemos 1010 Gray Day Colorway. Before I get into the review of the shoe, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching my videos. Like, I'm still a new channel, so every like, comment, a little subscribe, whatever, it's not a little thing to me. So thank you so much for real. I've been super appreciative. I've been wearing this pair of shoes around for a few weeks now and they are super comfortable. My suggestion would be to wear them around for a couple weeks before you skate in them because they come out of the box super stiff and like any cup sole, you really have to break them in before skating in them. For sizing, I am a, a true to size 11, sometimes 10 and a half depending on the company. I've read reviews where people say like, make sure to go a, a half size down. Don't, just go true to size. With that being said, I do have an affiliate link in the description below and if you go and purchase from that link, I get a small commission for the sale. So Tiago Lemos, he's a pro for primitive skateboards and he is now on the New Balance team and he has a pro shoe on New Balance. I know a lot of people were hesitant when Nike and Adidas came into skateboarding. I feel like skateboarding is just so big now that it just makes sense that big corporations, big companies like New Balance are sort of coming in and capitalizing on it. And I've been wearing them around for a couple weeks so now it's a little dirty. I should probably get the other shoe. I laced this one like a darn fool though. The materials are just great, this pig suede super buttery, super soft, and it almost like, it's it's smoother up on the toe box area, and then once it gets to this little heel tab on the back, it, it gets a little bit more like, I don't know, almost nappy suede, and then even on the inside of the shoe, you get that kind of hairy, nappy effect, and super soft. I assume it'll be durable for a while because it's just, I don't know, a really nice, thick material. You can kind of see in the toe box that, it, that there's like a lip there, and then there's a mesh tongue that goes all the way down into the toe box. It's disconnected at the toe box, so it's a separated tongue from the toe box, which is nice because that just gives a little bit more structure to the shoe, so it's not like if you pull on your tongue, then the whole toe box doesn't come with it. So it's a nice addition there. And this mesh right here is so layered that you would think that it wouldn't be breathable, but somehow it still is. Like they've layered it just right so that there's still a ton of breathability in the tongue and in the toe box. And it seems very thick on the toe box as well. Like there's a good amount of padding underneath it. And the same with the tongue. I, I'd say it's comparable to something around like the blue box era of Nike SB Dunks when they were doing like the thinner tongue SB Dunks. Like Eric Costin had the Thai Temple low colorway and it's like a thinner tongue. It's it's super comparable to that or pretty much any other skate shoe without a fat tongue. It's, it's good enough for sure. See, you've got the mesh right there. It's kind of like plastic material. It's mostly like a coating. It looks like it's a coating over the mesh. So you've still got that mesh through out the upper and the back right here and it's just sort of coated with this it's got to be some type of plastic you've got some hits of like this 3m reflective material on the end the new balance end, and then there's a reflective piping along the heel bumper around the entire back of the shoe right there and that just kind of gives it a cool i don't know cool guy kind of feel sweet shoe good looking shoe i think it's a nice like updated version of a dad shoe i'm the skateboard dad subscribe so it just sort of made sense for me to to get the most dad looking skateboard shoe i could which i think is a great new balance it sort of looks like something that someone's dad would be rocking in like 2005 but i think that's a good look I think the tech in this shoe could be comparable to something like the S Quattro. It's just got that kind of sporty feel and it may not be the same shoe, but it, it, I think it gives off the same type of vibe. I think this shoe sort of takes inspiration from that era of skateboarding. So like the early 2000s with like the Cupsole super tech shoes that S maybe didn't pioneer, but I think S perfected. S is just the best. S is the best. S is the B E S T subscribe. Now you look at this shoe and you think like this is this is a bulky shoe and it from the side it really does look like a bulky shoe and it sort of feels like it to be honest but looking down on it like when you're looking at your board it really has this super slim profile because it really tapers off towards the toe like it looks bulky but it also feels like a slim shoe so I don't know it's sort of best of both worlds here. Now for the tech of the shoe, the technology of the shoe. Some of it might be gimmicky, but it might not be. I, I tend not to really buy into a lot of like the tech that people will market from shoes, but like after wearing this shoe for a few weeks, like it, I kind of buy it. The sole is dirty, but if you can see, there's this green little fuel cell 
hit right there. And the fuel cell is just this, this cushion that takes up some of the midsole and adds some cushioning and support. I think that's what makes this shoe so comfortable because if you look at this, this insole here, it's super thin. Also this, this insole says amigos y familia. So does that mean like I'm, I'm Tiago Lemos's friend? That's so nice. Also, since I'm the skateboard dad and Tiago Lemos, says that I'm part of his fam, his familia right here, his family. Does that mean that I am now Tiago Lemos's dad? Cause I'm a skateboard dad. Thanks Tiago, I appreciate it. That's so nice. All it took for me to adopt you was to buy your shoe. One big happy family. Oh, before I put this away. If you look at this insole, it's really just like, it's pretty much nothing. Like it's super thin and it's deceivingly thick right here. Or it's just a little lip around there to hold in your foot. There's a tiny bit of arch support right there, but it's really like the softest foam. What really does it, the support of the shoe is the cupsole. Like this is almost useless. Kind of hard to get this insole back in. Also, speaking of insoles, if anybody buys like aftermarket insoles, you might want to reconsider that. So I've been working at shoe stores pretty much my whole life. And what was sort of ingrained in me at those shoe stores was that when you buy an aftermarket insole for a shoe, unless it's something that like a doctor recommends, you're sort of like throwing off the geometry and the ergonomics of the shoe, unless it's like a super flat shoe, like a Janoski or a Blazer or whatever. But something like this, like a, a cupsole shoe, I'd say stick with the stock insole before you go and get an aftermarket one. Cool little hit, makes you feel special. Amigos y familia. But the midsole, super great, super cushiony. It's got this kind of wavy pattern here on the midsole and it tapers off in the front of the shoe right around the toe, which might help you with a more like articulate flick. And it's got this endurance foam, which is basically just a hard EVA foam midsole, which is pretty much the same as every other cup sole shoe, but they get to brand it with New Balance branding. So any chance that they get to, this shoe actually has a ton of branding all over it. Pretty much just like a billboard, by the way. There's like so much branding on here. Like you've got the obvious, New Balance N, New Balance N. Got this enormous tongue tag with like the New Balance Numeric, Tiago 1010, it's like a huge billboard. Got the fuel cell back there. Got the Phantom Fit right there, like any chance they get. Even inside the midsole of the shoe, they have this endurance in there. It's, it's just too much. Got the New Balance on the sole. Just like, come on, give me a plain shoe. It's probably actually not that bad. I think every shoe kind of does that. Whatever, I'm not gonna complain. It's a good shoe. Going on to the Phantom Fit. So this is my favorite part of the shoe, honestly. When I was going to buy these, I was trying a 10 and a half, ended up going with the 11, and I'm glad I did, because the 10 and a half just, I felt like my toes were gonna like rip through the front of the shoe, and I was worried that if I continued to wear these and skate in them for a long time, that they would just sort of stretch out too much and I wouldn't be able to actually keep my shoe on my foot. But what I think keeps that from happening is actually this Phantom Fit system. So there are these, what they call zonal pods, on the inside of the heel here around the Achilles area. And it just like, your Achilles just like slides in between these two pads right here. And it's so comfortable and so supportive that I have zero complaints about the fit of this shoe. I, I can't stress it enough. This just holds your foot in so well. It just cups like the exact contour of your heel and just holds it right there. And like the protection is great around here. Seriously, like this this phantom fit right there, phantom fit, I back it for sure. It's so good. But, and I know I keep comparing this to a dunk. It's just, I used to collect those a ton. So I just know a ton about them. Around like 2011, I wanna say, Nike SB started putting these same kind of pads in the, the heel of their shoes around the Achilles area. But these are way better than that. Like way, way, way better than that. Like the ones in the dunks are like little Tic Tacs. And these are like big old like omega-3 fish oil supplements. <laughs> like take those, they're good for your heart. There's this asymmetrical toe box, which I think is actually kind of cool. It's sort of like reminiscent of, I think like the 574 the New Balance 574, which is like a classic, iconic New Balance shoe, which I think this sort of derived a lot of its inspiration from. And what I love about this toe box is there's this like sort of plastic underlay that sort of surrounds the toe box right here. If you can see the two tones right there, the darker gray, it's the same kind of plasticky covering material that is around the heel flip area of the shoe. And so that's for when you're skating, like when you break through this suede layer or the top layer, you have another protective layer underneath. The combination between the super thick suede on the toe box, the triple stitching and this plastic underneath, these are going to last a long time. The, the bottom of the shoe is super grippy. So if you like a grippy shoe, 
You're gonna like this baby. The tongue has some good padding on it. The toe box is breathable, seems durable. There's this weird wavy pattern on here. And another thing that I really love about this shoe is how wide the heel is. I'm all about stability with skate shoes, especially after going through a lot of ankle injuries. And you're really gonna roll your ankle in any shoe, but there are little things that can make it less likely to happen. And having a wider sole around the heel really helps with that because it just gives you a little bit more stability, a little bit more area that you're covering on the ground and on your board. It's gonna help with stability for sure. So that's definitely a plus. So there's triple stitching around the higher wear areas and then double stitching around like the eyelet areas and then around like the heel tab of the shoe. The triple stitching is gonna be great because it's gonna make it harder to tear up that layer of suede, which is going to increase the durability of the shoe and how long it lasts. So if this shoe is good enough for Tiago Lemos, it's good enough for me. I think it's super stylish. I think a gray New Balance looks super cool. And a lot of people have commented like, hey, those are dad shoes. And I'm like, I'm a dad, I don't care. That's what I'm going for, whatever. That's my stage in life. It's great, I'm a skateboard dad, subscribe. What's cool is, it, it comes with these extra gray laces and shoe companies these days aren't doing lace bags. If they even come with an extra set of laces, they'll just sort of like zip tie them or whatever to the, the eyelet of the shoe up here. It's like a little premium thing to get this little New Balance numeric lace bag. We want lace bags. We actually probably don't want lace bags. They're probably really bad for the environment, but they're a little nice. So stop giving us lace bags but thank you for the lace bag. All in all, I would highly recommend this shoe. Super comfortable, super durable, super supportive. Cannot find anything wrong with this shoe. I'll probably be skating in these on my channel for a long time, so if you wanna see that, subscribe. Let me know what you think of these, if you think they're super ugly, if you think I'm super off base, if you have experience with them that you wanna share in the comments below, but do you like this shoe? Do you love it? Do you hate it? What would you rate it? Thank you, thank you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> it's a nice shoe, get it. Or don't get it, I, I don't care. Do what you want with your money, but it's a good shoe. And if you're thinking about getting it, get it in the link below. Bye.